Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ricky and I'm a dance sport makeup artist. Today I came up with this look for you guys. I did a poll on my Instagram. I'll put it right here over on Ricky T Beauty asking what type of competition makeup looks that you want to see. And the most requested one, first of all, was a hair tutorial, which I am going to be working on. And the second one was a blue makeup tutorial now the second thing i asked is if you wanted a pop of blue or if you wanted like a full blue makeup look at first the poll was showing that you guys wanted a full blue makeup look and it was like that for the whole first day and then when i woke up in the morning to film this the poll had switched to only a pop of blue so i still wanted to definitely give you guys what you wanted so i ended up just doing a pop of blue but if you were one of the people that requested a full blue makeup look in the future i could definitely make another one where it's full blue or just the easiest way is to take the tutorial that i did today but instead of only adding blue on the bottom you you could add it on the bottom and on the top where I have the lighter shade. If you're one of the people that requested a blue makeup tutorial, I really really hope that you enjoy this tutorial and that you get something out of it. And if you weren't one of those people, I will definitely be making more makeup tutorials as much as I can right now. If you're watching this in the future, um, it's quarantine right now and we're all stuck inside. Anyways, I really really hope that you enjoy this video and without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. All right, so the very first thing that we are going to do is to carve out the brows. Today I'm going to be using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero. This is just pure white and I'm taking it on a Morphe 224 brush. And you're going to start at the highest point of your arch and carve it out all the way to the end. And since we don't want it exactly to set like that, I'm going to go in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH08 brush. This has nothing on it, and I'm just going to barely blend out the edges of that. We're actually going to prime the lids now, and today I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in the shade Soft Ochre. This product is very full coverage, so you really want to make sure that you blend it out in all the way towards the nose and out towards the tail. Today, I'm gonna to be trying out this pigment by Chicot for Professionals. It is a line that is made for professional ballet dancers. And this is just what they would call like a pearl pigment. They have a lot of different reflex. This is the one that has a blue reflect, if you can see in the cap. Taking that on a Morphe M124 brush, I'm just taking a little bit on the edge from the cap and I'm just going to lightly apply right on the white spot. It's very bright, which is what we want. So we can lift our brows to create space between the eyebrow and where your eye actually is to make them look bigger. I'm gonna just do the same thing on the inner corners so that my brow bone highlight matches my inner corner highlight. So the angle of the tape is super important, so I'm going to make sure my tape is more towards my hairline rather than going up towards my eyebrow. And also that's the reason why we want to have space in between the tape and the eye is because if you want it to be more pulled out and smoky and elongating your eyes and making them bigger, you're definitely going to want to lower the angle just a little bit rather than cutting it short and going too close to the eyebrow. I'm going to be taking the lightest shade in the palette to go in with first, which is this shade right here. And I'm taking that on a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. This is just a very flat shadow brush. And I'm just going to be putting that right on my lid. Once that is all over the inner part of our lid, it doesn't have to be clean, this part can be messy. <laughs> We're going to go in with this shade right here, the one next to it, and I'm going to be mixing it with this yellow shade. And I'm taking the Ani Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH32 brush. Now I'm just going to put this right in the middle of my crease and down to the tape. Mm -hmm. 
Now with the same brush, I'm going into this shade right here and I'm putting it in the same spot as before. All right, now taking a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH33 brush, I'm actually be taking this shade in my e.l.f. blush palette because I want something a little peachy, but I don't exactly have a peachy shade in this palette, so I'm just gonna use a blush. And I'm gonna put that mostly in the lower crease, not as high. All right, now taking my Morphe M433 brush, I'm gonna be taking a mixture of this red shade right here and this dark purple shade right here maybe with a tiny bit of black now i'm just going to start in the outer corner and press it towards where the tape is going down not out going down and first just placing it there now grab the same brush that you just used with that blush shade on it and just blend the outside just a little bit Now going back in with the dark colors, you're just going to start to bring it up towards the middle of your eye. Now on the same brush, I'm just going to take a little bit of the black shade in the palette and I'm just adding it to the outer corners, patting it in place before I start to blend it up. Okay, now going back in with that lightest shade again on the same packer brush, we're just going to reapply it where we did the first time, which is just right on the inner half of our eyes. Going back in with the MAC 217, you're just gonna lightly brush over the black eyeshadow where you already placed it just so that the light shade can blend with the black. Now going in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner, the same liner that I always use. We're gonna do some cat eyeliner from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner. Now I'm going to add mascara and lashes. These are the same lashes I used in my last video, which are from Amazon, and I will leave the link in the description box if you're interested in buying them. They are five pairs for $6.99, I believe. And in my opinion, they actually are really, really fluffy and good for really dramatic looks for competition. Okay, so as you can see, my eyelashes are on and they are very full and very fluffy. And now it's time to do my face makeup. Since I've done my face makeup in a lot of other previous tutorials, I'm going to skip through it in this tutorial just so we can save time and get straight to the lower lash line. So I will be right back. All right, I'm back. My full face foundation, everything is done. Now we're going to get started on the lower lash line. All right, I'm taking a Morphe M441 brush and I'm just dipping it into this shade again to mix with a little bit of this shade just on the lower lash line first. All right, now that that is nice and smoky, I'm gonna be taking a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH35 brush. We use this on the upper lash line and we're gonna do the same thing as before. We're going to use this blush palette. I started out just using this peachy blush, but I kind of mixed around into all of them to see which I like the best. And we're gonna do the same thing just to blow it out. And then lastly, taking my MAC 217 again, I'm just going to do very, very precisely with the black shade in the palette. I'm just going to do the outer one third. And because I couldn't be super precise with that brush, I'm going in with my Morphe M508 brush. It's a super, super tiny, tiny kind of smudge packer brush and taking a little bit of black shadow and connecting the lower lash black shadow to the wing. 
All right, now taking a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH38 brush is the tiny pencil brush already has some blue on it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the matte teal shade from the palette and we're going to do that from the inner corner to the outer corner. All right, using the same brush, we're going to go a little bit darker now. So now I'm going to take the very, very dark blue sapphire shade and I'm going to kind of mix from the teal shade into the black shade. Now, after we go in with the sapphire shade, I'm going to go back in with the black to deepen it, but it's just going to, we want to make a nice transition from the teal to the darker blue into the black. Now, because I really want to brighten things up, I'm going to go in with a peaches and cream pigment in the shade Mermaids, and this is a really, really pretty white, blue, teal reflect, and I'm going to take it on the peaches and cream glitter base, and on a e.l.f. concealer brush. It's a super tiny, pretty stiff brush, so it's good for applying uh, a liquid product, and I'm going to do it mostly right where we put that teal shade, and then I'm going to put the pigment right on top. All right, now I'm going back in with my P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Zero, which is the plain white shade, and I'm taking it on the tiniest, tiniest little brush that I own. This is the Morphe M250-0, and I'm just going to put a little bit more on the back of my hand, and I'm going to do a very, very thin line from where the blue is starting all the way to where it's ending in my waterline. With such a dramatic look like this, I would really recommend if you want to use um, false lower lashes like a strip lash, but I don't have any so I'm just going to use mascara, but if you want you could definitely do false lower lashes and it would open your eyes even more. For highlighter, I'm going to be using my Blushing and Bally Contour and Highlight Palette. No, this is Blush and Highlighter Palette. And I'm gonna be taking a mix of the two shades right here, the lightest shade and the medium shade, and I'm taking that on a Morphe Jaglin Hill JH09 brush. For lip liner, I'm gonna be using the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner, and this is in the shade 05 Hot Pink. Now I'm using my L'Oreal Paris lipstick. It's just a very, very bright pink lipstick. This is in the shade 712 Matte Mandate. Alright you guys, this is the completed makeup look. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Other than that, please let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. If you want to follow me on social media, my Instagram is Beauty. same with my Facebook, and I try to post as much on there as possible of my makeup, makeup tutorials, videos, and my clients' makeup. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great night or day wherever you are, and that I will see you in the next one. Bye! Are my eyebrows too huge? For my face, L'Oreal Colorish. Colorish? Colorish? <laughs> no. Jojo. What? Hold on. We'll redo my entrance too. Are you doing in your video? Bye. Can you close the door? <laughs> See, I literally don't understand what is the problem with this eyelash.
much. <laughs> Hi, my face is giant. Nice to meet you. Why am I burping so much? Why am I so white? <laughs> I don't know. Color rich. Color rich? There's an E on the end. <laughs> <laughs>